Hello students, welcome online classes for the first year students of Pakhtia Graduates Junior College, Narsampet. Now, so today we are explaining the mathematics 1B paper analysis. Now, these are the so name of the topics of 1B, first year B paper topics. One is coordinate system, second one locus, third one change of axis or transformation of axis, fourth one straight lines and fifth one pair of straight lines and sixth one three dimensional coordinate system, seventh one direction ratios and direction cosines, eighth one splays, ninth one limits and the tenth one continuity your eleventh one so differentiation and your twelfth one application of differentiation here these are the topics of uh, so paper B 1B now today we are discussing about the the coordinates in this the coordinates okay Students, so now we explaining the, we discussing about the, the one of the topic uh, in this uh, one B, so coordinates. Uh, students, now the coordinates in this two dimensional geometry. So we discussing about the coordinates here. So x-axis and the y-axis. The point of intersection of the x-axis and the y-axis is the origin. Now these coordinates are divided the plane in four parts. Here first coordinate and the second coordinate. This is the first coordinate and the second coordinate and the third coordinate and the fourth coordinate. Here students. So we observe this. In this first coordinate, all these positive direction of x-axis and the positive direction of y-axis. Then here we take the variable coordinates here x comma y. Here in this first one, the point is belongs to the x is greater than zero and y is greater than zero. That means here x comma y is belongs to first coordinate. That means in this first coordinate. The coordinate are sir, in the positive sign plus comma plus. Now in the second one, here this is the coordinates are in the the negative and positive. That means in the second coordinate is containing the negative direction of x-axis and the positive direction of y-axis. Yes, here x is less than zero, y is greater than zero. That means here x comma y is belongs to the second coordinate. Now the third one, this minus comma minus. Yes, students here we observe this x is less than zero and y is less than zero. That means this coordinates is belongs to the third coordinate. And the fourth coordinate here plus comma minus. Here this so here x is greater than zero. X is greater than zero and y is less than zero. That means this point is belongs to the so fourth coordinate. Students, here in the plane, so we so taking the point in this first coordinate and our second, third, or fourth. In this first coordinate, all these x and y coordinates are positive, and the second one is the x coordinate negative and y coordinate positive. In the third one, x coordinate negative, y coordinate is also negative. In the fourth one, the x coordinate is positive, y coordinate are negative. For example, here. In this, so this point is belongs to in which coordinate? Yes, students here we observe this. The point here two comma p is equals to two comma three. This point is belongs to the first coordinate. Here x a positive sign, x coordinate is the positive sign, and y coordinate is also positive sign. Yes, two comma three is belongs to the first coordinate. 
and uh, minus 4 comma 3 this point is belongs to the second coordinate here x coordinate is negative y coordinate is positive this point is belongs to the second coordinate here minus 6 comma minus 3 yes this point is belongs to the third coordinate and similarly yes 10 comma so minus 2 this point is belongs to the fourth coordinate here students we observe this so whenever the so sign of the coordinates so we uh, we maintain this uh, the point is located in the first or second or third or fourth coordinates Friends, now we discuss about the x-axis and the y-axis and the points on the x-axis and equation on the equation of the x-axis, points on the y-axis and uh, equation of the y-axis. Friends, we observe this upon the x-axis here 1, 2, 3, here similar here minus 1, minus 2 like this. Here the point upon the x-axis here 1 comma 0, here 2 comma 0, here 3 comma 0. And here in this negative direction of on the y x axis minus 1 comma 0 here minus 2 comma 0. Yes, which we observe this the points upon the x axis all these y coordinates here in this y coordinate 0 here y coordinate 0 here y coordinate 0 here y coordinate 0 here y coordinate 0. Yes, we observe this. So the points upon the x axis all the y coordinates should be equal to 0. Yes, the equation of Yes, the equation of uh, x-axis, x-axis is y is equal to 0, yes. So, we remember this, the points upon the x-axis, all the y-coordinates upon the x-axis, all are equal to 0, then the equation of uh, x-axis is y is equal to 0. And similarly, so we observe this, the points upon the y-axis, Yes, here 0, 1 and 0, 2, here 0, 3 and so on. Here also 0, minus 1, 0, minus 2, here 0, minus 3. Yes, friends, so we observe this. The points upon the y axis, here all the x coordinates are equal to 0. Here similarly, so the equation, the equation of uh, y axis is x is equal to 0. Yes, students, so we know this, the equation of uh, x axis is y is equal to 0 and the equation of y axis is, uh, so x is equal to 0. The point of intersection of x axis and y axis, yes, the point of intersection of, the point of uh, intersection, the point of intersection of uh, x axis and the y axis y axis is origin here the origin coordinates should be considered 0 comma 0 yes x axis is horizontal line and the y axis is the vertical line the point of intersection of x axis y axis is the origin yes origin coordinates should be considered 0 comma 0 now in this the coordinates so two dimensional geometry here we discussing about the so the distance between the two fixed points and the midpoint of the line segment joining the points and uh, the area of the triangle formed by the three points and the centroid of the triangle so formed by the three points here so now a x1 comma y1 and uh, b of x2 comma y2. Yes, friends, these are the two fixed points in the plane. The distance between the distance between between the points A and B 
a is given by ab is equals to under root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. Yes, friends. Here this is the so two fixed points in the plane. Yes, these are the two points a x1 comma y1 and b of x2 comma y2. Yes. The line segment joining the points a x1 comma y1 and b x2 comma y2. The distance between these two points is given by the formula a b is equal to the root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. Now taking one of the example here, so find the distance. Find the distance between. Between the points, between the points, here one comma two and so three comma five. Yes, these are the two fixed points. Now we have to find out the distance between the two points. Yes, here this point, here we consider one of the given points. We consider as a is equal to one comma two. Yes, this coordinates are we taking as x one comma y one. And another point here B is equal to three comma five. This point we consider as x two comma y two. Now we have to find out the distance between these two points. Here AB is equal to the using formula here the useful formula for getting the distance uh, between the two points x one minus x two whole square plus y one minus y two whole square. Now AB is equal to under root of We are substituting all these values in this formula. X1 minus X2. That means here 1 minus 3 whole square plus Y1 minus Y2. Here 2 minus 5 whole square. Now to expand this Y minus 3 whole square minus 2 whole square 4 and 2 minus 5 minus 3 whole square 9. 9 plus 4 is equal to root 13 units. Yes, the distance between the Given two points here, root thirteen. Here, this is the so one of the using useful formula for, for for finding the the distance between the two points in that so two dimensional plane. Now, students, so this is the another formula. Second one, the line segment joining the points, joining the points, a x one comma y one, b x two comma y two. If a point P of x comma y, which divide the line segment a b internally in the ratio m is p n, then the p coordinates are. M x two plus N x one by M plus N, M y two plus N y one by M plus N. Yes, here this is the line segment joining the points A and B. And suppose the point P, which divide the line segment internal, internal in the ratio M is N, then the P coordinates are given by M x two plus N x one by M plus N, M y two plus N y one by M plus N. And this is the another useful formula. If a point Q, which divide the line segment joining the points A and B externally in the ratio m is n, then the Q coordinates are m x two minus n x one by m minus n and m y two minus n y one by m minus n. These are the coordinates of external point. Here m is not equal to n. Now this is the line segment. Joining the points A and B, joining the points A and B, the point Q, which divide the line segment externally, externally means the point is lies outside the line segment. So the ratio is M is N. Then the external coordinates are M Q of x comma y is equal to M x two minus N x one by M minus N. M by two minus N by one by M minus N. And students, here this is the fourth one. The midpoint of the line segment. 
midpoint means the point which divide the length segment to equal parts the midpoint ratio is 1 is 1 that means the midpoint of the so line segment joining the points x1 y1 x2 y2 the midpoint coordinates are r of x comma y is equals to x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 here these are the so some useful formulas are in the coordinates